Hi, my name's Rob at BackyardSideKick.com and in this video I wanted to show you the steps we took to try to keep the rabbits out of our yard because this has turned into a war against these rabbits and it didn't start that way. In fact, this started a year ago last year and we started noticing the rabbits in the yard and at first it was, oh, you know, cool, cute little bunnies running around, you know, eating the weeds. They eat some grass, but oh well, and never thought anything of it. Then they started having babies. And a neighborhood cat, we're hoping, <laughs> was killing the baby rabbits and leaving them in front of our garage and our doorstep. It was a little creepy, to be honest. And we're, we just hope it was a neighborhood cat doing this. And so I go to scoop the, the bunny and throw it in the dumpster and... My wife's there, and of course, well, you can't do that. You can't just throw it away like some kind of animal. Uh, I'm in the back digging a hole, and we bury the, the bunnies in our backyard. And after a few of them, though, we're starting to grow a bunny graveyard. Here lies Josephine and Fredrickson. The bunnies that were taken from us you know we buried him in the back had a little service and um, the real war started this year uh, springtime came so all the snow melts turn those sprinklers on get the water going want the grass to come back and there's big patches of our yard with just layers of bunny poop where the grass is dead it won't grow and you think oh well it's just like fertilizer it's bunny poop it's not Bunny poop will not, it kills your grass. So now we have a problem. So I'm trying to keep these things out of the backyard. Um, first, I started with, uh, I found out where they were getting in. They were getting in on the side of the fence, on the side of the gate. And so the plan is to just keep them out of the yard. He's in the yard again. The bunny, honey, get the Winchester. No, no. You. You're kidding. They were getting in on this fence. So I put some two by fours. They were still getting in. So I put another one and they were digging under it. So I put this and now There he is. That's how he's getting in now. <sighs> They're getting smarter. The battle rages on, but we're gonna get him. Because I've started a research and intelligence operation. I spent the past, as well, this weekend looking up all the different ways you can keep rabbits out of your yard. I mean, that's all I did. <laughs> but came up with some good ideas. In fact, my wife came to me and she's like, hey, it's our anniversary. Do you want to do something? No, we're in the midst of battle. And you want to go, I mean, some people, they just don't have that commitment. To, oh, wait. Anyway, I've came up with some pretty good ideas that we're going to try. Now, the first one I've seen people do, I guess the most easiest, is buying just like a plastic owl. And they're about 20, 25 bucks from what I've seen. But the reviews on these things are kind of split 50-50. I mean, some people are, it works great. And some people are uploading a picture of the owl and the bunny sitting right next to it. So, uh I don't want to try to go that route if it's just not going to work and waste $25. And the thing that they're saying is the rabbits just get used to it. They get used to the owl and realize that it's not going to attack them. Um, so another thing I saw, it's like this sonar weapon technology. Well, really it uh, has a motion sensor so if something crawls in front of it and it emits this high pitched noise, we can't hear it. But I guess it, animals don't like it and stay away from it. The only problem with that one 
is we're in our neighborhood. I mean, our neighbors have dogs on both sides. We People are walking their dog down the street in front of our house. I don't really want to do that. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't want to bother the pets in the area. And um, that one had better reviews than the Plastic Owl. But again, if you have pets yourself, like we have cats anyway, so I'd hate that going off all the time and irritating all the pets in the area. So what I've come down to is block off all entrances to the area. If you have a fenced in yard, which we do, find out where they're getting in and block off all the areas they're getting in. I've been trying to do that, <laughs> but I'm stepping it up a notch. So for us and for most people, I guess it'd be where your fence connects to your house, where it butts up. We don't have a big gap there, but I could see some people having an issue there and the gate the gate is where they're getting in so we're going to do that and we're also going to use this secret biological weapon called blood meal and we're just going to sprinkle this down and and see how it does it's made from animal byproducts so keep that in mind it's not i guess the its purpose isn't to uh, deter rabbits or keep uh, rodents away or anything but um, it does it may attract dogs and other animals keep package stored in a safe place made from animal byproducts what about coyotes it's made for it's a soil additive and so you know trees bushes where do we see flowers and vegetables it's basically adding nitrogen to your soil in a natural kind of organic way but it's blood meal. I mean, it's made with uh, animal byproducts. So that smell, um, maybe, uh, maybe it attracts dogs, but that smell is like the predator to the bunny. They smell that and um, uh, apparently will avoid it. So, to start with our next phase of reinforcement, reinforcing our perimeter, we're going to lay out, I got these big red bricks, we're going to lay those all out underneath the gate so that they can't dig under it anymore, because that's our problem. They're not getting in where I'm putting these 2x4s, they're digging under the gate now. We're going to block that off, no path to entry for these things, and we'll see how well that does. So here is our secret biological weapon we're going to use against the rabbits, the bloodletting. Now you just sprinkle this around where you don't want the rabbits and it's, uh, they're not attracted to it. In fact, it repels them. Apparently, we're going to give it a try and see how well this works. It's actually called blood meal, not bloodletting. That was... Um, the bloodletting blood meal and here we are it's been two weeks and I have not seen a single enemy infiltration I've been uh, keeping an eye on our area of operations for like like I said the past two weeks and we haven't seen one our strengthened perimeter defenses coupled with our biological weapon has succeeded we win we got the bunnies out we got the bunnies out of the yard 
So hopefully there were some good tips in here and uh, maybe this helped you keep the rabbits out of your yard if they're causing you problems. If it helped you out, go ahead and subscribe. We're always getting into something in the backyard. I mean, lawn care, games, we love games, uh, gardening. So uh, thanks for watching.